Welcome Saints from all over the nations, tune in. It is the 19th of October and Pastor Chris admonishes his readers in this article titled, A Call to Action. Praise God. Let's see what our theme scripture reads in Romans chapter 10 verse 9. It writes, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. When we preach the message of salvation to sinners, we must give them the opportunity to act their faith and receive salvation. There must be a call to action. If we don't give them an opportunity to act their faith on the message, the seed sown in their hearts could be lost. Satan can steal it from their hearts. And you can read this in Matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 19. The proof that the seed of God's word has taken root in someone's heart is their response and action of faith. Until a person responds in faith, it can be said that they have not truly heard the word. When the word is truly heard, it produces faith within the individual. Faith comes by hearing, and we see this in Romans chapter 10 verse 17. And faith is a response of the human spirit to the word of God. So the response is so important. It is the same when we minister to the sick. Take what Paul did in Lystra as an example. A man who had been crippled since birth listened intently to Paul's teachings. The Bible says Paul perceived that the man had faith to be healed. He locked eyes with him and then commanded, Stand up on your feet. The man jumped to his feet and walked, gloriously healed. Praise the Lord. In ministering to people, be it the sinner, the sick, the oppressed or the depressed, we must provide clear instructions for their faith to be activated. Don't just preach the word and leave them wondering what to do next. Put them through and let them act their faith on the words they have received. Even now, while reading this, if you've never been born again, turn to the prayer of salvation on page 79. Pray that prayer, mean it with all of your heart, and immediately you'll be saved, translated into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah! Blessed be God. For those of you listening, and if you yet to be born again, or if you're not sure that you're saved, wait to the end of this video for the prayer of salvation. Right now, I invite you to partake in this prayer together as you repeat after me. Dear Father, your word is life to me. And as I hear and receive your word, I am compelled to respond. Because I am a doer of the word. My faith prevails as I walk in the consciousness of all that the death, burial, resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ consummated for me. In Jesus name, Amen. During your times of studying the scriptures, you may take note of these verses from James chapter 1 verse 22, James chapter 2 verse 17, and Acts chapter 14 verses 8 to 10 to gain more insight on the message you just heard. Blessed be God! This is the times and seasons we're living in. The mandate to reach 7 billion people all over the world with the gospel was given to our man of God. And that is why this message has come to you. Someone can be blessed as you share this through your social media platforms. Or you can download the digital copy of this devotional from the link in our description available in every known language including the Braille and distribute them to all your contacts. Kindly let us know in the comments below if you need any assistance getting this audio message in the language that you understand. Or you can also let us know if you would like to translate these Rhapsody of Realities in the language that you feel is not yet available. 
Subscribe to this channel today for more uplifting messages like this from the Rhapsody of Realities and you can be sure your life will only move from one level of glory to another. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of Realities Giving you life a meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody